You're telling me for 40 years all I had to do was put a little water on it? <laughs> Ain't no way. Put your bacon in a pan of water. Just enough to cover the bacon. It makes the bacon crispier and it doesn't splatter. You cook it on the stove, spatters everywhere, spatters all over your clothes, burns you. And apparently, if you take a skillet, put your bacon in, put water in it, no spatter. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. Let's try it. This is, I, I think this is thin sliced. This is driving me crazy. <laughs> I mean, seriously. This is the thinnest bacon I've ever seen in my life. I, I don't even know. Look how thin this is. I wouldn't recommend this bacon. <laughs> but you pour water in there till it's slightly covered. Turn it on. Wipe this down. No spatter on here now. <laughs> it says, it says the perfect cut lies. Look at this. Kentucky legend made in Indiana. <laughs> a perfect balance between thick and regular cut. That's the thinnest. That's like when you go to the store and say you want shaved ham. We still ain't spattering all over the place. It's popping. It's spitting. There's stuff on the stove. I just got hit in the arm. Now, it took a while for it to spatter. But, but it's spattering. There's spatter everywhere. But what does thin sliced water bacon, Kentucky bacon, made in Indiana, tastes like. Here we go, is it crispy? Still tastes good, tastes like bacon. But it still spiders. <laughs>